I had lost my gun in the crash. Barry was nowhere to be seen. Barry! Barry! Oh, man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way! Man, what a drop! And don't worry, your cutout is fine. Forget that! Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch. There's no way you can climb down, though. It's like a sheer wall. Ah, Al, there's something moving down here. Barry, it's a taken. Use a flare, Barry. Oh, yeah. Barry, are you all right? <laughs> I'm good, Al. I'm great. Guess he never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? You're gonna have to find your way around to the farm, Al. I'll be waiting. Barry, just wait for me, okay? Al, I'm not staying here. It's suicide. I'm going to the farm. I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area. You can catch up. Don't worry about it. I'm on the case. Now he's Rambo. This would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. to destroy them to get through.
could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. I had seen glimpses of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who had been placing the pages on my path. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm.
could see the car, but there was no sight of the driver. Hello? Anybody here? Ah! Barry! Ah! Ah! No! Danny, you're not! Ah! Please! Ah! Oh, oh, what are you? What are you? Ah! No! Don't! I'm sorry! Ah! Ah! I know you. You were in jail the other day. I went to the farm again for the moonshine, you know? It makes you see. They're, they're not gonna miss it. They're in the loony bin. But my buddy, Danny, I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. It's not him. Like a real bad follow up to a real good movie the best friends suddenly the bad guy who, who wrote this crap anyway I've run through every possible course in my head. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way, near escapes, cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. door was locked. The farm was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. Barry.
I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Falls, rock and roll capital of America. Hey, Al! This way to the farm!
see, bestseller. No reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry at this time. We need to get this thing moved out of the way. This is as far as I got, before they ambushed me. Wake here has something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? Ooh. I'm Alan Wake. I'm always right about everything. And if I don't get my way, I'll sulk all day long. I'm always intense and moody. It makes me very attractive and mysterious. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah. That's pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? <laughs> Thought so. Wow! <laughs> you look at that thing, Al! They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Look at all this stuff! They must have done okay for themselves, so how come I never heard of these guys before? And this from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV? The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram.
Those geezers had quite a production going on. Ooh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff. Be careful, Al! Okay? As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you? Beer Fest is almost here, isn't it? I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. I could see the building that had to be the Anderson's home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned-out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods.
that you out there, buddy? Yeah, it's me. Hang on. Hey, let's go, man. I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate now. Looks pretty heavy. Hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. Come on, one more gate. Let's do this thing. Uh. The lights are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. The power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. The power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. You know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. Yeah, I don't think they keep too close an eye on them at the clinic. They seem to slip away a lot so they can get wasted. No kidding! Those guys sound awesome. Can you hear that, Al? Music? Of course. We need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talked about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be... What's your face? The crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right. Must be. Okay? We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off of those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay.
Alice, I'm coming. It's all right. I'm coming. It was a crazy, drunken dream. And yet, it was more than that. It was the truth. A suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls. The night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remember Alice? being surprised Alice. to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. I remembered thinking, I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. <gasps> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. Beyond this lost memory, there was nothing. I had to follow the footsteps of my past self to find out what had happened that night. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Alice! Jagger had Alice, Alice. and so she had me. Alice! <coughs> <coughs> I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me, made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere, maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You laugh at the whole thing together and put it Alice? behind you. She's not here. You are foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you write. You killed her. No! Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Yes. I'll write. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I'm here. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my armor a long time ago. She looks so old. I had woken up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. Our 
The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it.